guys, this is Don Cortex Sport, and in today's video, we are testing which CPU is the fastest in three different racing simulators. This video was actually inspired by an, a comment on another video. Uh, the GPU I used was the Aorus 5700 XT or Aorus 5700 XT, depending on how you prefer it. And we're testing with four different CPUs a Ryzen R5 1600 at 3.7 GHz a Ryzen 7 2700X running at stock and a Ryzen R5 3600 with PBO and Auto OC enabled. In addition to these CPUs I also tested the Intel i5 6600K at 4.8 GHz and all these CPUs used 3200 MHz DL16 memory. Now let's kick things off with the ACC or Assetto, Cors Assetto Corsa Competizione or something. In this game I lowered the resolution to 2560 by 1080 and most of the settings are at epic. For benchmarking I measured performance running a formation lap around Brands Hatch three times and the results are the average of the three results. In ACC the R5 1600 brings up the rear with 74 frames per second on average and frame times here are dropping below 60 frames per second but the 0.1% low is just above the 48 frames per second floor of many FreeSync monitors. In front of the R5 1600 we find the i5 6600K at 81.7 frames per second on average. The issue here though are the frame times. Gameplay was noticeably less smooth with the 4 core i5 here which is not ideal in a racing game and no doubt a 6 or 8 core Intel CPU would do a lot better. I would rather play using the R5 1600 than the 6600K if I'm honest. And in front of the 6600K we find the R7 2700X. It's only 3% ahead for the average figure, but the frame times are a lot better. Even better than the 2700X is the 3600. The R5 3600 is 13% ahead in the average figure, with frame times also seeing considerable improvements. Now let's move on to the next game, which is R Factor 2. In R Factor 2, I tested at 3440 by 1440 with most settings on max, I believe, uh, and I think it was 36 cars on the track. In the back, we find the R5 1600 again at 144.4 frames per second on average, with frame times well above 100 frames per second. Coming in 23% ahead of the 1600 is the R7 2700X at 177.2 frames per second on average, with frame times above 144 frames per second. Slightly ahead of that is the R5 3600 at 178.7 frames per second on average, and no doubt the frame times is hinting at why it is so close to the 2700X in performance. Both the 1% and 0.1% low fell below uh, 100 frames per second, and I can honestly say I didn't notice it while playing the game, but it did happen on every single benchmark run I did, and I'm not quite sure why. Now, the fastest CPU in this game is the 4-core Intel i5 6600K at 4.8 GHz, coming in 9% ahead of the 3600 with nearly 200 frames per second on average, and excellent frame times. With that said, all the CPUs did very good in this game and delivered a smooth gameplay experience. Moving on to the last game then, which is Race Room Racing Experience. This game uses the All DX9 API and it appeared to be very CPU limited. In last place is the R5 1600 at 79.1 frames per second on average. 13% ahead of that is the R7 2700X at 89.7 frames per second on average. Moving further up we find the R5 3600 which is 10% which is ahead of the 2700X at 98.3 frames per second on average. On top though we once again find the Intel i5 6600K at 4.8 GHz which is 6% faster than the 3600 in this title. So the CPU I would choose for these games would be the R5 3600, but any of the Ryzen CPUs seems to be doing a good job. The 4-core Intel i5 did really good in R Factor 2 and Race Room, but the performance in ACC was very poor, and even alone on the track, the CPU usage was around 90%. So ACC does benefit from more cores, and as mentioned previously, a 6 or 8 core Intel CPU would probably do a lot better in this particular title. But that's pretty much all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna have to get back to racing now, so uh, thank you for watching and farewell.